Hey there again, everybody. Uh, this is a uh, my chaplain from my Crimson Fist Army. Again, he's mostly done. I got a little bit of uh, I got some washes I got to put on his uh, cloth and uh, purity seals, but for the most part, he is done. Uh, if you see my last video about the Tech Marine, this is kind of in the same vein. He was a this is a fine cast model and I was this is a little better of a model that wasn't so uh, painful to deal with uh, it didn't really change my feelings about fine cast uh, particularly when it came to the backpack if you're familiar at all with this model you'll realize this isn't the backpack that came with it I actually uh, this is the second of these models I would actually talked with Games Workshop when I got the original one because the backpack was just completely unusable and they did send me another model, but unfortunately the backpack in that wasn't usable either. So I ended up having to go through, uh, I believe it was a Vanguard squad. I believe that's the ones with the jump packs. And unfortunately those were, I had to get those resent as well because all of them had problems with the backpacks. And so uh, unfortunately with the second set they sent, only two of the backpacks were really usable. And this is one of those backpacks uh, from the Vanguard squad. So out of 12 figures, I got two usable backpacks. So my love for fine cast hasn't improved, nor has my luck. So anyway, back onto this figure. Uh, this is a fun one to paint. Uh, it was much different uh, than your regular Crimson Fist because again, you know, you're, when I'm painting the Crimson Fist, it's a lot of blues and reds and when you go to a model that's primarily black except for the shoulder pad, uh, it's, uh, it mixes it up a little bit so it is a nice, uh, nice change because uh, you do get a little tired of painting the same color over and over again so being able to switch it up like this was, uh, was nice. Again, the model itself uh, wasn't too bad. The again for this one, I still, I still got a little work on the shoulder pad there to do. I've got to bring that shine down. But uh, yeah, aside from the whole jump pack issue, I do like this model. Uh, it's got a nice dynamic pose. And this is actually uh, this base is one I had, so I put a magnet on there to. And I thought the it, it made a nice uh, addition to the to the figure. Kind of gives him a like that look like he's taking that leap and getting ready to ignite the jets. Still have to paint the base. Uh, my main priority was just getting the figure painted. But yeah, again, overall, uh, pretty happy with the way he came out. Again, kind of like I was saying with the other figure with my Tech Marine. Uh, my heart wasn't completely into this guy just because again with some of the issues with the backpack and a fine cast so again I found myself just wanting to get it done and not really enjoying the process so uh, anyway overall a, a nice figure I like the dynamic pose it's very different from your standard uh, figures and the chaplains have always had pretty cool uh, uh, models the, the nice skull skull looks to them have always been uh, very cool and this one's no exception, so this is the latest addition to my army, and um, I'm not sure which might be working on a captain next. I'm not quite sure what, we're, what my next figure is going to be. I've got such a backlog, i got to take a look and see what it is. But yeah, this is the latest addition to my army, and it's slowly growing. But uh, let me know what you think. Uh, any thoughts, suggestions, comments? Uh, please uh, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.